been wanting to do this video for a while now because there's a lot of low mintage Walking Liberty half dollars out there. So even if you find one circulated, there are some very valuable coins out there that are very, very low mintage. And there's something that's really special here on the 1917 Walking Liberty half dollar that we're gonna discuss. So let's just hop into it. Here is a picture of all the low mintages. Now there are some even with two million or three million minted, but we focus here on a million and under. And you can see all those dates displayed on the screen there. Make sure you guys screen capture that. That way you guys can save those dates. And also if you look there on the 1917, you will see that I listed it as an obverse mint mark. So OBV means obverse, means that the mint mark was actually produced on the front of the coin. Now in the year 1917, they also had mint marks that were placed on the reverse or the back of the coin. So that is going to be a huge difference when looking for those 1917 Walking Liberty half dollars. So let's just hop into these pictures and check out what these things have actually sold for. First, if we just look at some high graded coins, guys, this is a 1916 Walking Liberty half dollar. And this thing here sold for over $35,000. Next up is another 1916, but just to show you guys one that is not a very high grade and it's been cleaned. Never clean your coins, guys, because that is gonna devalue them a lot and like I said this one is uncirculated it's been cleaned but it's still sold for over three hundred and thirty dollars here's another example of a 1916 s now this is a San Francisco minted walking Liberty half dollar now this one has been improperly cleaned as well and of course that's gonna devalue it but this one's still sold for over one thousand one hundred dollars now on to the coins that we've been talking about the 1917 walking Liberty half dollar now this is where the the mint mark is on the front of the coin, the obverse. So if we zoom in there, underneath the phrase in God we trust, you will see that D mint mark. Now this one here sold for a whopping $32,000. Here's another example of a 1917D with the mint mark on the front of the coin. However, this one has been improperly cleaned as well and this sold for over just $475. Now onto the 1917s where they had the mint marks on the reverses of the coin. This is a 1917D Walking Liberty half dollar that has been improperly cleaned, but it's still sold for over $645. Next up is a 1917 San Francisco minted Walking Liberty half dollar with the S mint mark on the reverse of the coin. Now for you non-collectors, I know it's a little tricky to see this, but we will zoom in there to almost the bottom left side of the coin there, and you will see that S mint mark. So very tricky place to put a mint mark on these coins. It kind of blends in there with uh, the leaves and all that stuff. So this is a very high grade as well, Men's State 66, and it sold for over $38,000. Next up is going back to the mint mark being placed on the front of the coin. However, this is a San Francisco minted Walking Liberty half dollar, 1917S, a very, very high grade mint state 67. If you're not too familiar with coin grading, be sure to check out my coin grading video on my channel. If you go to my channel, click on playlist, you guys will be able to see all those videos organized by different types of videos like pennies worth money and you will find coin grading videos on there. So this one here sold for over $150. $52,000. Hey guys, don't forget to click that bell. It will notify you when I go live or when I upload a video. Make sure you turn on the post notifications when you click that bell and you will be notified. Until tomorrow, I will see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.